Your 1976 seminal paper, co-authored by my Marty, is called, entitled New Directions in Cryptography, established the subject of public key cryptography. C could you tell us about this work? What inspired it? And what were the individual contributions were? Well, my memory of this differs from Marty's. And so my recollection is what happened, what happened when I came to this insight that it could be done was when I was, you know, I was, I was making a living as a house husband at this point. So I, I was taking care of that house and I, I, had, I had Mary and I had Sarah. And so I cooked, I cooked dinner and Mary came home. Mary was working for British Petroleum in San Francisco. Um, and she came home and her memory of this, I do not remember this, I'll tell you what she says and she's on tape saying it, is that I, that I invited her in and said, sit down, I, I think I've made a really important discovery. At any event, I certainly did tell her about it when she came home and we had dinner. And then after dinner, I walked downhill. When John McCarthy's house is pretty much right above Marty Hellman's house. Um, I walked downhill to see Marty, and it took me an hour to persuade him that this could be done. It's interesting to me now that we know for sure it can be done. I can persuade people in, in a minute or something, but it, it took an hour to persuade him it could be done. And my recollection is that, that, that when he figured out, realized it could be done, he said, I have an invitation from Jim Massey to write a paper on cryptography for a special issue of the transactions on information theory, would you like me to join, to join me in it? He doesn't remember it that way. I, I dig through, he thinks, he can't imagine he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have invited me to join that paper already, but even anyway, that's how it, that's how it seem, seemed to me. And so we then worked, that would be roughly speaking, more than a year, uh, and the sloth is likely mine, um, to produce new directions, and what does it contain? Um, I had been, the whole point, oddly, I mean, I, I probably didn't yet see public key as the most important thing I would ever do in cryptography. I thought, I had, I had been, I had spent the first two years while I was traveling around largely thinking about what the requirements for a cryptographic system were. So it took me quite a while to come up with this notion of a chosen plain text attack. Um, and I was just generally thinking about framework. So I guess I don't know any longer remember clearly what's in new directions and what's in privacy and authentication. But a whole lot of this issue is sort of about modes of operation and how the general ways you can build a crypto system, I think I, I brought to the table. And uh, Mar anything that's information theoretic, Marty contributed. Mm -hmm. um, the general, you know, the general framework of public key cryptography was mine, but the solution uh, to the key, key negotiation was 90% his. Right? We, we follow, and I don't, know if, I don't know if cryptography has anything to do with this, the, we, I think we both agree with the practice followed in NSA, which is when a discovery is made, everyone in the room is listed as, 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 as contributing to it. So uh, this was something we had been talking about, one-way functions and ways, things you could do and so forth for a year, and it's actually Marty who had the, had the insight um, but we both take credit for the, for the discovery as a product of joint work.